Hey everybody, this is Shlees with Sawbuster Living and this video is just going to be what I call a homestead update. If uh, you're wondering what, why I call myself Sawbuster, why I call this a homestead, all that kind of thing, I'm going to be addressing that in this video. I'm going to be giving you a garden update and I'm going to be telling you where we're heading. So here we go. So stay tuned. <clears throat> So, I've been hearing a lot from other channels about not calling themselves a homestead or just how touchy people can get about the word homestead. And I think it's time to address what exactly a homestead is. And there is going to be disagreement. All right, I had to come out. I had to come inside after um, the next door neighbors were looking at me weird with this camera in my hand. So, uh, I kind of wanted to make this video. It's been heavily on my mind for the past month, two months, or even three months. It's simply why I call my house a homestead. We are not at all where we want to be. I mean, if you ask us what our vision is, it would be a house in the country um, with chickens and a big old farm that just supports all of us. Um, you know, pure grass-fed beef. You know, maybe some ducks. Just, it, it's not... It's not our current situation. But we are all put in different areas of this world. We can't... Oh, I don't want to put this. We're all put in different parts of this world. And God has not allowed us to be where we want to be right now. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try to work for what I have here. I'll be honest, sometimes I throw up my hands and be like, I don't care, I just want what I want, and if I can't have it, then I don't want anything. Okay, I do have that attitude. I'm working at bettering that attitude, because that's not a good attitude. But it's going to take me some time. But we're also in a rental house in the middle of the city. It. We need to... What I want to address right now is what the homestead all started out being. In 18, I think it's 1883, I'll put the correct date right here. I meant to look it up before I started this video and I forgot, but I, the United States, um, you know, is becoming developed and there was an act called the Homestead Act. And what it was, was the government basically said, um, you can take, I, I want to... I think it was 160 acres. You take that land, you um, make it good. You cultivate it, you better it. You better that land, you build a homestead, you create whatever it is you need to create, and that land was yours. We had ranchers and we had farmers. Hey, y'all remember the cowmen and the farmers should be friends. It's not that we were all cattlemen and we were all farmers, no. You did what was best for you in your homestead. Um, that's what I picture when I picture homestead. This house that we are currently in, this rental, is not my house. I can't just go and do whatever I willy-nilly to it. And I'm in the middle of the city, which means I can't, I have to abide by the city laws. When you're working with our income, which I'll, I'm not quite ready to tell everybody my income yet. I feel like people take me more seriously when I do, but I'm not ready to share that right now. But we are a below poverty income according to state standards. Now we make more than some people, we make less than a lot of people. I can't just say I'm ready to give this up and move out to the country and do what I want to do. We don't have the funds. And actually a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't do that.
but the reality is but in a nutshell <clears throat> I am happy at and happy isn't a word I I'm choosing to be content at where I am right now in our current situation because I can't change my circumstances right now even the garden that um, we were putting in and I posted it on Facebook I was so excited because we were tilling and we had the rose going and we even got some seeds planted that garden is no longer it um, we just lost it let's just put it that way and then when we the when the seed thing failed I went to Home Depot and picked up some already established plants and I was going to do it that way and that was the weekend of Easter <clears throat> and I'll show you they're still in the thing in the um, containers that they come in out there because life happens and I had to make a priority I had to I had to choose my priorities and I had to put that to the back burner uh, my life is really crazy right now. I am pretty much working two jobs from the second my feet hit the floor. I'm working full time as mom and a housewife, and then I've got other jobs kind of thrown in there as well. And I couldn't do it all. So the the homes the uh, homestead, in the sense of my farming ability, gardening gardening abilities had to take back burner for right now and that means I'm not gonna have a garden this year again that's gonna be a reality for this family and it's not it's not what I would picture or I would want for this family but it it is what it is and I'm just gonna have to accept it and I'm gonna have to be um, I'm gonna have to choose joy in, in the circumstances um, I don't have to accept it in, in such a way that I leave it that way. I can um, I can certainly do things and make it work, but there's going to be a cost to it, and I'm not willing to choose that cost right now. I feel like the kids get enough short change um, of me as it is. So that's all that to say. That it, this is one reason why I haven't been posting... Um, some of the gardening videos that I was doing last year or the year before. It might have been the year before. I think it's already been two years. Wow. Um, I know definitely in my blogs I've had pic uh, years where the pictures have just been gorgeous because the garden's been gorgeous. And right now that's that's not the case. It's really hot already. We kind of went from chilling temperatures to blazing hot. We didn't get the spring, but that's kind of typical out here in the desert. The sod-busted living, in the sense that um, we're still working towards that homestead, we're still busting the sod, we're still busting our backs, we're still working towards that homestead ideal. It's not just the focus of this channel. This channel really is about our life and the different areas of our lives, like homeschooling, the gardening, the... Um, just everything that that goes along with it self sustainability okay <sighs> I guess I I'm gonna leave it at that because I keep getting interrupted I'm gonna have to go do the uh, dinner thing Oh, frugal living that's another thing that I like to do I'll show you a little bit of the garden that I have going out there because it's going really well <clears throat> I've never had pansies so big as they are right now and for the record because I'm realizing not many people know this, you can eat the leaf or the um, the flowers of pansies. They're actually really good in salads, and I think um, certain people make salves out of the salves out of them and different things. But um, I mainly just use the the flowers for salads. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope this uh, video kind of gave you a little more glimpse as to who I am and what this channel. Kind of gave you a little bit of a glimpse at who we are and what we do. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, enjoy. Stick around. Um, have a cup of lemonade, cup of coffee. 
some tea, whatever your pleasure is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, it's early morning here, so you're going to get swatches, but um, there's some violas, here's some geraniums, more geraniums. I've never had violas so big. Um, so we have a tomato plant. I think this one is, oh look, a little tomato one here. Let's see, this one is, oh, these are the summer heats. I thought I wanted to try that for out here. I think they're supposed to be for like Florida, but... And that'll be the thing, is that Florida has humidity and we don't. We just dry heat. Um, some marigolds. These are lettuce that a dear friend brought uh, to us when she made dinner for us. I know, she's just amazing that way. <laughs> Look at how this one just took off. Uh, we ate the other two literally down to nothing. Um, another marigold. We have this one that still needs to be planted, but the, as you can tell, the pots that I got, I didn't realize did not have drainage. Alright, so more violas. That is a primrose. And then, let's see, the violas are just, they're gorgeous. And then here's my cabbage. Now, as you can tell something's eating them and look at that look at all those aphids I'm just I'm heartbroken so we're gonna try to get some daddy long legs and uh, see what we can do and then I put some in the back here are some um, oh marigolds magnolias okay this thing was doing so well until I put it in the garden so something is something's killing it but this is a um, this is a crookneck squash tomato that is a butternut squash and then more tomatoes which again they were doing so well until we actually put them in the ground and now they're dying so we're gonna close this out with our zucchini plants coming up. Nope, none there. One there. One there. And one there. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.